Yo, 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 peace and love, peace and love. Back with Mo Thrax, you know what I'm saying? Uh, today is a different type of episode. I'm going to just sit up here and chat with you. Because I had this a video about this before, but I had to take it down because I didn't denounce the axe in the video. So I'm going to denounce the axe up front. Don't steal cars, y'all, okay? It's bad. Not good. It hurts the people affected, okay? So this is what I'm going to tell y'all about. The time when I went to visit my dad last year for Father's Day. I try Because what happens is my birthday and Father's Day sometimes fall around each other. Like in that year, it was like on the same day, actually. My birthday was on Father's Day that year, like last year, you know what I mean? So, pow. I'm like, yo, my dad live in Philly, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know, I ain't doing much, you know? Well, really, honestly, to keep it a buck, my niece, who lived along the way from where I live, to Philly, you know what I'm saying? She was graduating, I'm a photographer, so I wanted to make sure to go to her graduation so I can get the pictures and video and stuff like that, as well as, you know, to show my support. So I went to her graduation along the way, and I was like, well, since I'm halfway, like, because it's out of, you know, out of the state, you feel me? Like, I'm like, so since I'm halfway there, you know what I mean? Might as well make this a world tour, go see Pops on Father's Day, surprise them, I never do that, you know what I mean? You know, it'll be a grand gesture. <laughs> it'll be nice, you feel me? So I, uh, so that's what I set out to do. I was like, I packed a bag for like a week, you feel me? I'm like, I'm gonna go, you know, go stop and see my niece, take the pictures, and I had a few other stops along the way. I was like, man, this is gonna be my world tour, you feel me? Like, so I stopped the way up, it was great. Stopped by, made all my stops. I had like probably four stops on the way to break up the trip. Didn't make it that bad. I was able to hang with a lot of family. It was a glorious time. I was having a great time. My birthday coming up, I'm charged up. Why I make it to Philly, there's no, no incident. The city is Gotham, Philadelphia. You know, Philadelphia, Gotham City. You know the same. This one of the same, synonymous. But nonetheless, I make it there with no incident. You know, we're there. I'm there a few days. I probably get there maybe. I probably get there on Saturday, like, cause I feel like I feel like the graduation probably was Friday or something. I need to look, cause I got the uh, program or whatever. I think the graduation was Friday, and I uh, got to Philly on Saturday, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, I went to Virginia and then like saw my little brother, and then I went to to Philly that next day. You know what I mean? So, pal, I get to Philly. I surprise pops. He don't even know I'm coming. I coordinated with my uh, stepmom and my uh, stepsister, like, they, you know what I mean, they, they like, yo, park up the road. This, this ain't even the issue either, where it could be the, but she, they like, yo, park up the road, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we, so he don't see your car, and you come in through the back door so he don't see you on the ring camera. I'm like, all right, cool, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying? So I do all of that, and like, when I get there, he's like, on the way, because I don't, I don't have a chance to hide my stuff all the way, like, so some of my stuff is still kind of in the live, in the kitchen, which kind of gives it away, kind of. So, pal, I'm in there, though, like, without him being, you know, with no detection on the phone, like, you know what I mean? So, like, he, he come in, and I surprise him, pal, it's a glorious embrace. He had noticed the bag, though. He's like, I saw that bag. I'm like, wait a minute, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I was able to come on down the stairs and be like, hey, I'm here. What's going on? I'm looking around, you know what I mean? Searching and staring. Glorious visit. We end up going to church on Father's Day, which is my birthday. We go to church, you feel me? I give my first of the year to the Lord. I, I start my year off right, you know what I mean? I go to church. It was a nice service, too. Like, you know, I always enjoy church, you know what I mean? I'm not a heathen, you know? So I enjoy church. It was nice. Uh, that's a Sunday, uh, which is Father's Day, the 18th, which is my birthday as well, the 18th of June and Father's Day. And, and you know, the next day is Juneteenth, you feel me? Spending Juneteenth in Philly, we go to the park, we go, you know, go get some water ice, some pretzels, you know what I'm saying? We go do stuff in Philly, a nice chill day, relax. It's a glorious, peaceful day, I'm enjoying myself. So I uh, go to sleep, like that next day, like, cause me and my dad, we end up, like we'd be staying up late talking and stuff like, so we stayed up late that night and we was like, we're going to, uh, but but clearly not late enough. But anyway, we set up late that night and we was going to sleep in the next day. And like in Philly, like the bathroom's at the top of the crib. And like I was sleeping in the, the, the basement, essentially, which is like a room. They You know, it's a room, but it's in the basement, the third floor down. You know what I'm saying? So the bathroom's up top, though. So I'm asleep, you know what I'm saying? But I, the Lord, like, yo, you got to use the bathroom. So I wake up to use the bathroom because I'm going to sleep in this day. So it's probably like 8 a.m., you know what I'm saying? But I'm not up for the day, but 
I'm up, you know what I mean, to go use the bathroom. And there's three flights, so you kind of got to wake up. And whenever I'm in Philly, I always look, like, kind of look at my car out there because I drive a Hyundai, you know what I'm saying? And I'm from the South, so we just live differently. Like, so you got to just be on alert. So I'm using the bathroom, and, like, it's a window above the toilet, and you can see out, you know what I mean, like, to see where the car is and stuff. So I'm looking, like, looking to see my car, and I don't really see it, like, but it's, like, a one-way street and it's traffic parked on both sides and it's traffic going through and i'm parked on the other side of the street you know what i mean like so i'm like well maybe it's just like traffic so and i'm sleeping and stuff so so i use the bathroom and i'm looking and like traffic clears and i notice my car is gone like it's a car in front of it car behind it. i'm like now what you know what i mean like i'm looking I'm like, mm. so now just a uh because uh. again i'm sleep i'm in philly like so i'm not home I'm sleepy. I'm like, maybe it's dream mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe something else is going on. You know, like, so I look and then I go downstairs and I like, look out the window and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't look like it's out there. So I go and tell my dad, like, I'm like, yo, dad, my car not outside. And he jumped up. He like, they stole it. I'm like, oh, snap. So I go running down the stairs and like go out the door and go look, bro. And <laughs> I look out there and it was glass on glass on the street and my steering wheel cover was like off of the was on the street too i'm like now nah, that's a quality steering wheel cover why wouldn't you take that for one but two why'd you take my car like they legit had stolen my car like car stolen like glass there piece of my car is there i'm like wow so y'all gonna do me like this while i'm up there trying to do right so i was like Wow. And by that time, my dad was out, you know, he done came outside too. And you know what I mean? And he's like, Lord, you know, so where, where they live at, two different police stations intersect. So it's, they got Philadelphia police, you know what I mean? Who we call, as well as they live in North Philly by Temple. So the Temple police is who we also call, do you feel me? Poop pow. Philly police, they got real crime going on. You know what I mean? It's a lot. So I'm glad we called them both because Temple ended up pulling up probably 20 minutes, maybe five, five to 10 minutes like after we called them. Like, you feel me? Like they pulled up and they already had information. They was like, yo, at like this morning, there was a high speed chase with a stolen Hyundai. That's probably your car. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, snap. You know what I mean? Mm, that sounds scary. Like my baby done been in the crime. You know what I mean? Like she's not a crime car. You know what I mean? She's a regular car. Like, so I was sad about that. I'm like, Lord, they done drove it. Like they stole it. High speed chased it. They flipped it out. Like whatever, you know, like what happens with that? As well as we got to identify the car. And like, I'm keep it, keep it honest. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know my uh, license plate number, you feel me? Like, I uh, just didn't need it, you know? Like, so I didn't have my license plate number. Luckily, my sister, like, she's Pepper Potts, so, you know, I was able to call her. She was able to locate some paperwork, you know what I mean, and find the information. So I was able to get that over, thank God, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to get that information to the cop. They was, I think I had the VIN number I was able to give them, so I had the VIN number at least, you feel me? So I gave them the VIN number, and they... So the, the temple police, they at least gave, like, they were able to confirm that that was the car or something like that. Like, I feel like temple police gave me, like, some information where I was like, okay, like, some signs of, of hope, you feel me? But there was, like, they weren't the ones that was in, like, they weren't the police department involved in catching that, you know, in that Hyundai chase early. It was, like, Philadelphia Police Department. So there was, like between precinct 26 or 21, like those are the two that could possibly be in this jurisdiction, that's who you would check on. Like, so there, and remember we had caught them early, so they're supposed to be in route, you know what I mean? But they still ain't came yet in there. So those are the two that we would check between. So my dad was like, well shoot, we'll just drive down there, you know what I mean? So we hopped in his car and we drove, we was driving to, I think we was driving to 26, which was the one closer to us at the time. Cause they're both f fairly like the same distance, but like going different directions. So we was on the way to 26 and then he saw a cop car on the side of the road and he was like, oh, that one's from 21. Cause he looked at the numbers or something like, I'm like, Lord, a day of learning, like, you know what I mean? But something about the numbers got something to do with, you know, the precinct and the, all that. So he was like, yeah, nah, this one from 21. So we, so we stopped and went over there and talked to her and I gave her the, like we told her what was going on. She was a lady in the car at work, you feel me, like doing something else. So she, she, she was very helpful, very nice, like, 
I was like, and I was numb. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm because at this, you know, I'm actively like my car is stolen in Philly. You feel me? Like so, I'm like, man, like I'm just kind of numb. We talking to my dad, really doing the talking stuff. He asking her the questions and stuff, and like she's able. So I give her the VIN, and she gives me the license plate number. So now I have both, you know, because some places were acting like they needed the license plate number or something like that. Like it was an issue. Like it was easier to find with the license plate number. So. I get you. See, she gave me that, so I had both. So we, but that's pretty much all she could give me. She was like, it wasn't that, so we went on up to 26. You feel me? So we go up to 26, and when I get in there, I'm like, man, Philly is Gotham City. So I get in there. It's a dude in there explaining to the cops how he had just got robbed last night. Like he was like, uh, it was like, it was, I would have fought him back, but it was about six of them, and I saw a gun. You know, I'm like, Lord. Gotham cities, get, burn it all. Nah, nah. I love Philly. Philly's a beautiful place. But man, like, get a hook, get it, get it, get it together. You know what I'm saying? Get it together. So I'm waiting. You know, I'm waiting to go next. I'm listening to this guy to detail his story. Like they, you know, robbed him of his money he had, and uh, <laughs> you know, he t he did his police report. Got on out of there. I'm like, man, I'm I'm even more sad. Like, look, because it didn't seem like they it was much resolution in that situation. You know, so I'm like, hmm. So I go up there, but you know, whatever, like I'm chatting with the cop or whatever. And he's a cool guy, like, you know, a young guy, we end up talking about Marvel somehow, you know what I mean? Cause my car got like Marvel stuff on it. And I was describing that and then he like lit up and we start talking about that stuff. So, you know, ended up going all right. And he looked up the stuff like while I was there at the window to see if like he could locate where the car was towed essentially after, you know, after the, the night of crime. But at that time, they didn't know where it was, like, so they couldn't find it, like, so he was like, well, you know, like, I don't know where it's towed to yet, you feel me, like, so, you know, we'll, he got, got our information, he was like, we'll contact you once we find it, because now we're looking for it, you know, since you gave me the thing to actively, like, move it up in the list of looking for it. But we're going back to the crib. My dad had not uh, had uh, to go to work, like, he had to do, like, a work meeting, so it was like, he had to be at work for, like, an hour, but it take, like, 30 minutes to get there and back, so I had to go to the crib for, like, two treacherous hours because on the like why it was treacherous was because right when we were like right when he was leaving to go to work like is when they called was like yo we found your car is at this address you know what i'm saying like really what that was like was you got to go to this place like they gave me a different it's like a stolen car department that you got to go to first like you know like so where they you know so you go to the stolen car department and it was like a little window and I remember looking at that dude had like mad pictures up and stuff. I was like, man, I wonder, he probably worked here a long time. But that's different, that's, you know, that don't. But it was a stolen, uh, like, so you go to, because Philly has got them city, they got a stolen car department. So you go to, so I went to the stolen car department, which was like a separate place. We had to like drive there. So we drive there and that guy is who gave me the tow yard. You get what I mean? So he was like, all right, yep. It, he looked it up, it's at, this place so i'm scared the whole time now like because we're getting close I'm, I'm hyped very hyped excited we you know like the car is located it's no longer in the hands of the criminals <laughs> no longer out scared and away from me being mistreated so i uh so we we go to the place you know what i mean my dad come back from you know like and we go to the place and like me and my dad kind of get into it a little bit on the way to the place too like because the dude give us the place and an address like so he so he gives us the name of the tow yard you know such and such tow yard and the address which we're grateful is not a ppa tow yard because that would have been a whole nother situation we type in the address and it's like and it say like closed or something something's going on with the address it's not going to let us gps it my dad's like he look up something else he's like oh it must have moved down here like i'm like I you just, you know, in my mind, because I don't know how Philly works, but Philly has got them, so clearly he understands it. But I'm like, now, well, why would the, the guy not have the updated address? I, I think we should go to where the guy was saying we should go. Like, you know what I mean? He's like, well, no, nah, because the GPS is saying it ain't, you know, it ain't there, it's moved down here. I'm like, but when I was looking at the GPS, it didn't look like that. So he ended up calling, and they was like, yeah, now nah, we're at the new place that you, you know, you right, old man, you know? So I'm like, oh, so I'm over there even more. Me, you know what I mean? Looking out the window, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where's my car? Just give me to my car, dog on it. So, <laughs> with that, we end up finally, like, it's probably 17 minutes of, of, of driving, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, Lord, I need to get to my car, you know what I mean? Just hope it's okay. 
You know what I mean? We know because we know for a fact there's broken glass, and then we know that the steering column thing, like the thing, because the way they do it is they pull down the thing or something and like use like a flash drive and they didn't use my own charger to to take my baby i was so, i was so disappointed but anyway so i knew that was going to be the damage but i didn't know like if they had wrecked it or like what else the damage was going to be so i was like man like so we pull up to the address and like i'm eager so like, i'm like looking like it's like a gated place and like you can see through the gates so i'm like looking through and uh but like the, it looked like the elephant boneyard, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, yo, it's on a, a piece of a car, like the front half of some cars, like a, a piece of, like, just the worst conditions of cars. I'm like, oh, my God, like, mm, this mom coming to get my things out of her and say goodbye. It's what I'm thinking, you know what I mean? So we get back there, and, like, I'm trying to look, but I don't see my car like something. I'm like, uh, but everything looked bad. Like, so I'm just like, man, man, you know what I mean? They, they, they did me dirty, you know? So I go in there, we go in there to pay. Like, my dad, he pays, you know what I mean? Which is a blessing. I appreciate that. Because, you know what I'm saying? Definitely didn't have that in the budget for, for the impromptu trip. But, uh, so he paid. That was a blessing. And, uh, I feel like it was like $300 or something, too. Like, that was wild. Like, I definitely didn't want to pay that, but it wasn't ridiculously expensive too. Could have been even more expensive. So, and they take me to the car and I'm like holding my breath and I get back there and I'm like, oh snap, like it's only the glass broken and the steering column. I'm like legit, the two things I already was prepared for, those were, that was the only damage, except for like, they stolen a bunch of like, my things out of my car like not a bunch of my things but like the stuff out the middle because i didn't keep a lot in the car the main rule in philly is don't put nothing in the car like don't keep stuff in the car to tempt these people like people break your window and steal a, a sip of your soda like not even the whole soda but like you'd be like yo that soda was closed you know what i'm saying and you'd be mad like they don't open and drink a little of your soda bitch your, your candy bar <laughs> looking around for chocolate on your face what's that chocolate no nah, no nah, but uh it won't like it was just some like i had some sunglasses in the uh center console some cologne stuff like that that they take in you know and but gratefully all my photography equipment was in the house like good god almighty i would have lost my mind like during that little time looking to get it now the window is broken so we now we got to kind of get things repaired in the car because the window is broken and the key don't go in like the key thing is hanging and I'm driving it how they were driving it with the USB. The guy that works there, like that, you know, at the tow yard place or whatever, he was like, yo, you have to get that fixed soon. Cops going to be on you, you know, because I didn't even think about that. But I guess it would look like I'm driving the stolen car. You know what I'm saying? But I had the police report and stuff. So I kept that in the, you know, the, the, oh, up above over there on the on the right side, not on mine. So far every time I use it, my dad had a homie that's a mechanic. So. We went there, like, because we, we tried to call different glass places, but because Philadelphia is Gotham City, like, they, they're they legit, like, I was, the dude was on speakerphone, like, he was call, he, he probably called six different glass places, and, like, they was like, yeah, nah, was like, what kind of glass do you need? Like, for what car? Like, then, then he's, once he say behind it, like, oh, no, yeah, we don't have that. Like, dang, so y'all done broken into every hyundai around like and and then after that like when i was looking around like i know there's not really many hyundais in philly you know what i mean like so like i know that car stood out and i know their their market is terrible there like but it's, it, it was wild man it was a lot to a lot to unpack i i say that's the wildest thing that's happened in my adult life for sure because it's like yo what i'm out here thinking i'm doing good thinking i'm doing the lord's work you know what i'm saying going to church and whatnot visiting my father on father's day you know what i'm saying and and this is the things i get but it was it was interesting like we uh ended up going to his mechanic friends because we couldn't find the 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 glass and he so we went to home depot got some so first we went to the homie he measured it you know what i'm saying gave us a, like measurements of how we need to get the wood cut and then uh he went ahead and because thankfully, normally when they pull down the thing and break it, like they normally sever the connection for the key as well. But in this particular instance, thank the Lord, the Lord was with me every time. He's always got me. He, uh, the key, like when you put it in, it works still. So like he just had to like re-put it up where it went and like made sure it was up there and stuff. So he put that back, popped it back in, everything was good. So that was regular. And then it was just the window. So we had to go to Home Depot, get the wood cut. He brought it back, he fine cut it like to exactly fit the window. And then we, uh, he popped it in there, put some good old tape on that thing. 
and I was out. Like I left Philly that next day. Like never to be, return again. No, I went back, but not in my car. I haven't been back in my car since then. Like, and it's really ruined my my uh, my my taste for for the state. You know what I mean? The city, at least. You know what I mean? But it was an interesting experience. Like I, I you know, I'll go visit for sure in somebody else's car or in a rental or probably not a rental because that's. I probably will fly there, let my folks come scoop me, and we go hang. You know what I mean? Because, my God, that was wild. Like, and I, I had to wrap up. Man, it was rough, man. It, but we made it through, nonetheless. But I just wanted to share that, which I haven't started rambling. I can talk for hours about this because it's so ridiculous. You know what I mean? I just cannot believe it. But if some, what was the wildest thing that happened to y'all in your adult life? Like, it, have your car ever been stolen? What did that feel like to y'all? Like, talk to me. Let me know something. Was this too much? Was this a wild story? Did you like it or did you hate it? Let me know. All right, until next time.